Hello and welcome back to another Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League video. So, Season 1 in its entirety is now out the door, both Episode 1, Fear, and Episode 2, Duality, the two parts of the overarching season of Joker. Now, I did a guide on Episode 1 a few months back, but I thought, you know what, everything's here, everything's out, let's just put the whole shebang into one video. So this video is going to comprise of both Episode 1 and Episode 2, in terms of how season one of Suicide Squad works. Before we get stuck in though, may I ask, if you are looking to stay up to date on Suicide Squad, within the next week, I'll have a complete season review of my thoughts and a build guide for episode two around Deadshot. So maybe consider subscribing. Into the video then. So yeah, this video is gonna be split into three parts. Episode one, recapping exactly how that works. Then episode two, and then a breakdown of the things that overlap between the pair of them. For the sake of your time and convenience, each episode's guide will be timestamped, so if you're just after episode two, you can skip right on ahead. Final disclaimer though, since I'm gonna be saving my thoughts for a review, this video is strictly a guide and not my sentiments towards what was good or bad, etc. I'll talk about that in a separate video. With that said, let's get on with it. So, episode 1, episode of Fear arrived back in March and brought with it the arrival of Joker. Episode 1 is the way to unlock Joker without paying for him. To unlock the Joker, you're going to need to get to episode level 35. Your episode level can be seen at the top of the map and be accessed by holding up on the D-pad. Mastery levels are the end game of Suicide Squad, but until you beat an episode's mayhem mission, you cannot increase your mastery levels on incursions. The fastest route to get into episode level 35 is running either the Killing Time Incursion mission or running over and over Imposter Syndrome or Laugh Riot if you have the Prometheum to do so. If you don't have the Prometheum, farm world events like Mandatory Global Warming which will net you Prometheum and also increase your episode level whilst doing so. Farming Imposter Syndrome or Laugh Riot should have you around episode level 35 in about 40 minutes give or take. It's not sexy, but it gets the job done. Once you've reached episode level 35, you will then gain access to the Mayhem mission. It's time to unlock the Joker and fight the Green Lantern version of Brainiac. You'll have to do a few smaller objectives before you take on this Brainiac, but once you've defeated him, a few cutscenes will play out and you'll have access to the Joker. Beat to Rick Flag over by the prison cells at Argus HQ in the Hall of Justice and you'll be able to swap the Joker into your squad. You can also do it via the main menu when you back out. For a guide on leveling up fast, I made a dedicated video which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. So Joker's unlocked. What else have we got in episode 1? Well, Riddler came back with some more trophies, time trials and annoying quips that he just want to bash his head in, which upon completion though, will net you some more cosmetics to equip in your squad. That said, that's the time trials only, not the trophies. The main thing now, however, mastery levels are now unlocked. Mastery levels are the end game of Suicide Squad. But there are some differences between episode one and episode two, with some big quality of life changes that arrive in episode two, and I'm gonna stay going forward. So in episode one, Mastery levels available to you are the average of your highest three mastery level incursions, plus two. For example, let's say you have three incursions completed at mastery level two, you will be able to do your next incursion at mastery level four. Alongside that, each episode has its own unique infamy and notorious loot sets. So, in episode one, the loot available is an infamy loot set inspired by Scarecrow with a tier one, tier two and tier three loot set, all focused around poison. You also have access to Merlin and Dr. Poison weapons, a polka dot man grenade and mad hatter melee. The scarecrow gear is obtainable by increasing your mastery levels, i.e. mastery level one to 13 will only return tier one scarecrow items. 13 to 23 will give you access to both tier one and tier two infamy loot and 24 plus has a chance to drop tier 1, 2 and 3 infamy loot sets. All notorious gear from the season has a chance of dropping anywhere. Each different tier comes with its own stack of buffs, so 3 pieces equipped give you the full buff of a tier set. The idea and the loop is to run around 3 different incursion missions, 
constantly increasing your mastery level and taking it as high as you can or you want to. Picking off all the loot that you wanted to collect and hopefully getting master versions of each of the weapons that you want to build around. In episode 1, there's no real reason to rerun the boss fight against Brainiac. Like I say, there's also your episode level that will increase during this time. This will grant rewards like banners, crafting recipes, loot and resources. Just some extra rewards which is always nice. So episode 1's guide is unlock the mayhem mission by running those mentioned incursions or the world events if you have no Prometheum. Fight Brainiac, kill Brainiac, get the Joker, level up the Joker. Rise through the mastery levels, obtaining that episode's notorious and infamy loot set. How much of that loot you have can be viewed by going to the Nexus, clicking on episode 1, and at the bottom it'll have an option to show episode rewards. Each gun that you've obtained will have a tick next to it. There is master versions available of each of those weapons. Master versions don't do anything other than usually just double the amount of damage that you have on that weapon. Other than that, Find the Riddler trophies, run the time trials, enhance your episode level, and that's about that for episode 1. Episode 2 then. It's a lot more of the same, but with some key and welcome changes. First of all, Duality, which is the name of the episode, drops you in, and instead of having to grind to episode level 35 this time, you only have to get to episode level 10. Again, your episode level can be found, go into your map, and then hold it up on the D-pad. Just like episode 1, until you complete your mayhem mission of killing that world's brainiac, you cannot increase your mastery levels on incursion missions. So, the quickest way to episode level 10 is to run the incursion sending the clowns or funny pages on the sweating bullets difficulty. It should be an absolute breeze. One episode level per run, you're looking at about 20 to 30 minutes. If you don't have enough Prometheum to run an incursion, then I suggest trying out the new mission type, Out of Orbit. These are essentially redesigned hack encounters where you have to protect the Justice League watchtowers in Metropolis and use a mechanic that swaps the dimension that you're in. There'll be two different types of enemies and you can only deal damage to the enemies that are in your dimension. So you just swap in between the two different ones based upon the mechanic and what enemies you can deal damage to and you can't. This will net Prometheum and also increase your episode level whilst you're at it, so it's a win-win, plus you're getting to try out the new mission type. There are 6 new incursions in episode 2, making it a total of 12 incursions across the two episodes. Once you've reached episode level 10, you'll unlock the Mayhem mission to fight Brainiac, 3 out of 13. You'll travel to the Joker's Elseworld, world, do some mini objectives and then be put in an arena to fight the Superman variant of Brainiac. Few new mechanics in this fight and overall it was better than the you know base fight of superman in the main campaign once you've completed this mission you will be teleported back to argus hq no cutscenes this time and be told that mastery levels are now unlocked in episode 2 both mastery levels and infamy loot work differently to episode 1. in episode 1 your highest available mastery level was the average of your three highest incursions and then plus two in episode 2, your highest available mastery is still the average of your three highest incursions, but this time, plus 5. Meaning, say your average is 10, you can run your next incursion at mastery level 15. That's not the only change though. This time, all infamy loot will now be available from mastery level 1, meaning tier 1, 2 and 3 of 2 phases infamy gear set is available at mastery level 1, rather than split up like in episode 1. The difference now being there's no longer just the gear piece and the master version, there's now the original gear piece and 5 master versions of each weapon. The higher up the mastery levels you go, the higher the master variants you'll gain access to. At the time of writing, I've hit mastery level 30, but there's no indication of what mastery levels grant access to what master tier variants. The only slight difference I've noticed so far is that after Mastery Level 9, you can see a slight change in colour, and I have started popping Master versions now. The other change in Episode 2 is the way Mayhem missions work. Upon completion of fighting Episode 2's Brainiac, you'll be rewarded with a piece of Corrupted Loot. Corrupted Loot are notorious items from that season, i.e. in Episode 2, a Black Manta sniper rifle, except 
it will have a more powerful perk or trait involved. For example, Firefly's grenade, instead of increasing the radius of your next grenade, it now increases the damage dealt and stacks on the damage rather than the radius. So, the loop of episode 2 is get to episode level 10, run the Brainiac Mayhem mission against Superman Brainiac, unlocking mastery levels, progress through the mastery levels, collecting all the Two-Face infamy gear, alongside the notorious weapons based on Two-Face and Black Manta, a Firefly grenade and a reverse flash melee, which all look sick by the way, I know I said no opinions, Rock City weapon design team, you are wizards. You can also then, of course, run the boss fight whenever you want, as much as you want, to get that corrupted loot that I spoke about with its unique Notorious Corrupted perk, and keep going around your favourite three incursions, gaining access to higher mastery loot as far as you can go or you can take it. There you go, the higher the master variants of Notorious and Infamy loot sets you'll obtain. The other parts to mention is that in Episode 2, each incursion has a different buff applied by Lex. So before you go into an incursion, read what the buff is and it will help you build around it. Also to note, mutators are now buffs and not debuffs. So if you remember things like boom, it would be essentially things that would, would cripple your build. Now the mutators that are going on in each incursion are buffs. So every time you spawn into a different incursion, you will spawn in with an extra set of buffs too. What you can therefore do is learn what these buffs are Look at what the buff is at a set incursion and then build around your favourite three incursions and get the build that you really want. Other than that, there's more Riddler trophies to collect on the map, Riddle to scan and three more time trials for more cosmetics. To round the video out, there's a few things that overlap between both episode 1 and episode 2. First of all, the introduction of Green Lantern infused enemies. These enemies will spawn both shields and constructs take them out you need to destroy their shields in which to do so you have to destroy their constructs i.e the big guns rockets or mines that they will spawn or you need to counter shot them enough times these enemies are seen throughout metropolis or in incursions there's of course the battle pass which to be honest is a bit of a slog progress is made throughout both episodes so you don't need to prioritize doing one over the other the best way to maximize battle pass gains is completing contracts and then netting the daily contract reward and by doing Aaron Cash's care packages which have been bugged for quite a long time but that's shooting down the drones in the sky to free the civilians. Other than that you'll gain battle pass XP through completing missions. You can then swap between the two episode levels at any moment by either going to the nexus and flicking between the two different planets and selecting them or by going to the main menu going to episode select and selecting the episode that you want to do. Episode 2 also added new invasion levels to make the challenge in your base metropolis harder. Again, to unlock the high difficulties, you have to play at the highest available invasion level until the next one unlocks. These invasion levels can be changed in the main menu. They will reward more XP, banners and crafting recipes for some master items. And that, that just about rounds it out. That's the complete guide on how Season of Joker works, both Episode 1 and Episode 2. So, first season of Suicide Squad down, how are you feeling? If this guide was helpful and it did help you out, I'd love to hear what specific part of it it did down in the comments down below. Let's have a chat down there about season of Joker. Speaking of, my review of the season will be coming up in the coming days, so if you're looking to stay up to date on Suicide Squad and hear my thoughts, consider subscribing. I'd also appreciate a like on the video if it was helpful. It helps me out a lot. Other than that, I hope you have a terrific day and I'll catch you in the next one.